last night and the water is really very cold. So this is how important plants are. Well guys, this is my personal aquarium. I just decided to put my collection of guppies here. Hi guys, it's another beautiful day and you're here back at Nexter's World Channel. are going to make an update about this filtration system that we adopted. This is quite different from the filtration system that we had before because before we used to have this plastic container as our bucket. But in the new system that we have, we have here a concrete tank and we made this as bucket for our filtration system and you will see that it works well. As what I have mentioned in my previous videos, that the inflow of the water is passing through this pipe that I have prepared and this pipe is placed under the gravel and it contains holes and then the water will come out from the holes and passing through the small stones that we have here and as you can see the water that is coming out from the stones is really very clear you see that water it's really a clear water it's indication of a good filtration system now today we will also have an update about the fish you look at this one the fish are growing so fast and they are ready to be harvested actually i'm planning to make a good harvest out of this fish but i decided to make a video on it first before i gonna harvest them well, I'm standing here at the concrete tank also that is intended for our filter bucket. You will see that this tank here for our filter bucket and I'm gonna fill this with stones. And the stones will serve as our media. Of course, it will be mixed with other media like the activated carbon and pine nets and maybe some driftwoods that we can use as our media in the filtration of the water. So this is it and we expect to finish this today and tomorrow we're gonna make an update on how to go about this one and also we are going to place the matting also of our tank prepared for our aquatic plants the imported aquatic plants now we will proceed to the tank of our balloon mollies because i've spotted some babies of our balloon mollies and i am so happy because we have just newly purchased this balloon mollies and they are now giving birth to some babies come on let's proceed at the back of this house yes this is the tank of our balloon mollies it's raining last night and the water is really very cold and we already have made a tutorial on how to deal with this cold temperature this cold water we use the rock salt so I'm going to cut some of them here you will see them that they are so beautiful and very fat and I have just mixed them all because these are all balloon mollies well no problem about it because they belong to the same species balloon mollies please just refrain from putting another kind of molly because it will really harm or it will really destruct the quality of your breeding they will produce not any more balloon mollies but the long body mollies like the chocolate and even this uh, 24k mollies so you will look at them they're just like pearl scale wow this is good to see in aquarium you see that i'll place them here what i'd like this balloon mollies is the fact that they are having bright colors you see that one and they have already babies they really have babies plenty of babies that i have spotted over here can we see this one yes these are the babies of our balloon and they are all silver these are the babies wow i'm so glad with this development that they already have babies i think there are around 20 of them and it's normal because they're still very young. I don't even expect that they can already deliver babies. 
Well, I am confident that they cannot eat this one because the plants that I provided in this tank is so thick. There are too many of plants over here. And I am confident, as I've said, that, the, that their babies can just hide and the parents cannot eat them. So these are our beautiful fish. And many have asked, Dexter, what's your favorite fish? Well, I already have said that aside from the koi, my favorite fish is really guppy. And if you will look at my personal aquarium inside our house, it's full of guppies. And maybe we can check this out. It's my first time to show this to you, my personal aquarium. And we will see if these guppies that we have inside in this very beautiful aquarium for almost two months already is doing well. But before we gonna proceed inside, we will see that this wagtail, surtail also have many babies. So this is how important plants are because the plants really serve as the hiding place of these babies. And these babies are just born two days ago because I can recall that last Monday I have collected plenty of babies from here. And now we will go inside and we will see our guppy tank so guys this is my personal aquarium and this aquarium serves as the division of the kitchen and the living room and many years back i've been uh, petting an arowana but it died so after the death of my arowana, I, I placed this iridescent shark, but then it also died. So I just decided to put my collection of guppies here inside in the aquarium. And you will see that they are really doing well. And it really gives me some sort of happiness every time I see them in the evening. After every time I come home, I would go directly to this aquarium because they are really my source of joy and happiness. Well, also my kids during nighttime used to stand by here and look at the activity of this beautiful guppies. And you will see them that they have variety of colors. Their color combinations are really that amazing. It's fantastic. You will see them that they're actively eating their breakfast. So we will also see at the back of this, we will look at the beauty of this aquarium at the other side of it. So guys, forgive me for this mess. Well, this is the things of my children. And this is the room of my son. This is the room of my daughter and another room over there. And my room is seated here, the master's bedroom. And you will see that this aquarium is located at the middle of this cabinet. I am making it appear part of this cabinet. I made a small opening of this at the back of this uh, aquarium. This is very accessible when you go to the kitchen. So this is how I beautify this cabinet with this aquarium. Guys, you will also be able to get some some lessons out of this. Well, these guppies really are the source of my joy and happiness, and also the source of our uh, recreation during during our pastime. And uh, I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And thank you for your support, guys. We are close to 360,000 subscribers. And I am so glad to reach this far. And this is because of your help. And also, we have a website, dexters.world, and we also have items for sale. And you will see some mugs, t shirts, that it's uh, very available at a low cost, at low price. Thank you for watching on the here at Dexter's World. Yeah.